I'm a sophomore in high school and I like to run. You can do it! I was having trouble taking notes in class and uh, it's harder to read. If I close my right eye and I uh, look at your nose, I can barely see above the top of your head. So He has a brain tumor in the optic chiasm and it basically he had surgery and, and uh, the doctor at Duke was able to remove half of his brain tumor. He had me all set up for the photon treatment at Duke and then he said he wanted me to do the proton up in Boston. I think cutting edge is an excellent term for it. Although they have actually been treating with protons for decades now, with the New England Proton Center we've brought it to a whole nother level. The proton beam itself physically moves just like an x-ray close to the speed of light. It's based on the principle that protons, based on their energy, can enter tissue and deposit all their energy once the radiation hits the tumor site and stop, literally stop. So there's no radiation beyond that point. Once I go in, I will lay on the table, they'll put the mask on me. This is because the head can move in so many different angles and we want to keep them as much in the same position as possible. This is the digitally reconstructed radiograph. The blue area is the area that we're trying to treat. With our CT MRI based planning we take uh, orthogonal x-rays every day and make millimeter changes to ensure that we're treating the, the tumor directly. This is Will's right lateral radiation field and this is the proper shape and size from that direction. Some patients require four to six fields of radiation, so there's a tremendous amount of work that's been done behind the scenes that patients often are not aware of. Okay, so I'm going to cut this one for the finished cut. It's probably going to take off maybe two or three thousandths of an inch just to finish it up. And so this helps define the radiation. The radiation only goes through in the hole here and it gets absorbed in the surrounding brass. Nothing's ever perfect. However, we expect to cure about 80% of these uh, children with these tumors. One little flower sitting all alone. Ella has a optic glioma and she's four years old. She's failed two different kinds of chemotherapy. And in children in particular it's important because the side effects of a developing human being from radiation can be devastating. You know, one day we were having a normal school morning and the next minute she couldn't move half of her body. A therapy that doesn't just treat the tumor, a therapy that spills over into other parts of the brain could jeopardize her vision and cause lots of endocrine problems, growth problems. Ella has handled it very, very well. I think uh, in large part because the staff here is so friendly and they make her feel right at home here. Currently we're treating approximately 35 patients per day uh, at this facility and we're hoping to uh, double that in the next year. Children roughly around the age of five or six are able to hold still long enough for the course of the treatment. And go slowly, okay? But children that are younger than that typically need to be put under anesthesia in order to, to hold still. We use very exact techniques at the Proton Center and uh, any slight movement could change our field and then we'd have to increase our margins and we lose some of the benefits of the conformal radiation therapy that we offer here. We've treated patients from uh, multiple different countries around the world. And the treatment times range as short as one day for very selected lesions to as many as eight weeks for other tumors. It's not really that bad if you think about it. You just come here, it's almost like a daily routine. You put the mask on, you lay down, and you're only in there for a short amount of time and then you're done for the day. In the old days, with conventional radiation, we couldn't give enough radiation to control that tumor over that patient's lifetime without destroying the spinal cord. With proton therapy, we can give a high enough dose to control the tumor, but spare the spinal cord and the function of the spinal cord. This therapy is only done in a couple of places in the country, and Mass General has the most experience. That's why it's a great choice for her. This treatment does represent a new technology. The great thing is that it is available for patients. If it was a perfect world and there's a proton facility in every institution in the United States that currently just has x-ray or photon radiation, it would benefit a huge number of patients.